Afternoon, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Well, two Clearwater paramedics are on administrative duty and not allowed to care for patients after investigators say they pronounced a man dead who was still breathing. The man's family is outraged and is, ex is speaking exclusively to News Channel 8 about the ordeal. Eight on your side's Melissa Marino joins us live at Station 47. That's where those medics came from. Melissa? Well, hey, Stacey and Josh, right now that man is in the hospital in intensive care. His daughter says she fought for his life. She said he was still breathing. Finally, a deputy then realized he was still breathing and he was rushed to the hospital. He just squatted down by my dad and I'm like, he's still alive. He's like, no, ma'am, he's gone. Phoebe Maxwell is still in shock and outraged after two Clearwater paramedics pronounced her dad dead, even though 66-year-old Thomas Maxwell was still breathing. The Clearwater Fire Chief confirms two medics from Station 47 responded to the cardiac arrest call on February 15th. When the medics arrived, they pronounced him dead. Say this was his arm. He went like this. My, okay, I'm sorry, ma'am, he's gone. His daughter had been performing CPR and says she insisted he was still alive. After the two medics left, investigators say a Pinellas County deputy noticed he was still in fact breathing and rushed him to the hospital where he remains in intensive care. And the sheriff came in and said, man, we called other medics and you're right, they found a slight pulse. The Clearwater Fire Chief has apologized, saying, quote, on behalf of the city, I apologize for the actions and the inactions of our crew during this incident. We have strict policies and procedures in place that were not followed according to our preliminary review. And I did reach out to Clearwater Fire Rescue for their policies to see exactly what was violated. If anything, we, they are processing that request, but we are still waiting. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the very latest. Live in Clearwater, Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.